Hey guys, it's Dan from Soilier and welcome back to our One Take Wednesday series. Today in episode 20, I'm going to be going over three different belts that I utilize for concealed carry as well as work and duty. Okay, yes, I said duty. The first, uh, the first belt I'm going to go over here is going to be a Core Essentials belt followed by a Segura Gear Company belt and then a uh, Ronin belt. Now, a few things I want to go over quickly is what do I look for in a concealed carry belt or a work belt? Most of the time, uh, with the belt, I want something that doesn't stick out too far, right? So everyone knows now when you start concealed carrying, right? You always have like the, the printing that you're worried about when it comes to concealing that firearm, as well as maybe an extra magazine or tourniquet, whatever you guys are running for concealed carry. Uh, with that, you want a belt that doesn't add any extra bulk to the front of you. So you'll see a lot of times some guys will wear the buckle instead of 12 o'clock, they'll orient it to like, uh, I would say probably 10 or 11 o'clock or on the other side to about one or two o'clock. All right, uh, that's one option. Another, another thing you want, another thing I look for when I'm selecting my belt is I want it to be rigid. So you can see right here, if I hold this belt, how it doesn't droop, it's, it has stiffness to it, right? So rigidity, stiffener, whatever material it's made out of, it has a stiffener to it. Same with this belt, it kind of holds up on its own. And what that allows it to do is it's kind of a easier and uh, better for load bearing, right? So obviously, uh, let's just take a Glock 19, right? A lot of people carry a Glock 19. So a Glock 19 with 15 plus one in there can be heavy, right? Now you add on there another, uh, another magazine next to it, you could have a significant amount of weight in the front of your pants, right? A normal belt, its main job is just to keep up your pants, right? So with a belt like this, it allows you to add that extra weight and still be comfortable. Uh, another thing I look for with a concealed carry belt is a belt that has a lot of adjustment points, right? So uh, unless your weight, like your body weight's fluctuating a lot, basically the weight of your waist doesn't change too often, right? Unless you're dieting or bulking. But when you put in different firearms and different holsters, you'll find that that circumference obviously around your waist uh, is gonna get uh, is going to increase or decrease. So uh, I want a belt that has different adjustments. And realistically, I don't want the belt to have like one inch adjustments because that doesn't give me a lot of fine tuning. I want a belt that has a lot of like micro adjustments. So at the very least, uh, half inch adjustments or on better belts, quarter inch adjustments. So the first belt I'm going to go over here, <clears throat> this is a Core Essentials belt. Uh, now Core is K-O-R-E. If you want to look them up, I'll send a link in the bio. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. Uh, but I'll just talk about them. So don't, you know, disclaimer there, I'm not making any money off this. But uh, so Core Essentials, their belt right here, it's basically one size fits all. And what you essentially do is when you receive the belt, you put it around your waist, figure out, give yourself a little bit extra play so you can tighten it or loosen it. And then you actually cut the back of it off. So you can see there's markings here based on your weight or based on your, uh, I should say your waist size. So normally my pants, I'm, I'm realistically probably a 33 but you add in there uh, you know, some, some width there for the, uh, the gun and the firearm and the holster to be inside your pants. So I have this cut right around 35. So you essentially just take a sharp pair of like kitchen uh, scissors or medical shears, cut this, you put two bolts in here, and now you can adjust the belt, right? So you don't have to pick out like, oh, am I a medium, am I a large? It doesn't matter. Uh, what you'll notice here on the inside, and I'll try to show that to you, is there's like a little plastic ratchet system there. And what that does is that clicks into the buckle itself. The buckle's fake, it's just for looks, but it clicks in there, and now I essentially have quarter inch adjustments, right? So what's nice about that is depending on what holster or you know, firearm you're carrying that day, it will adjust quickly right down to that spot. Uh, if you eat too much cheesecake at a party, right, you can just hit this little lever at the bottom here and loosen it up by just clicking that and then you know releasing it. So it has a lot of adjustments, it adjusts all the way up to here. So I like this belt quite a bit for kind of uh, off-duty concealed carry because it looks just like a standard leather belt. And uh, you know, with 11 years in, I'm almost 11 years, or what do I have, 11 or 12 years in on law enforcement now, it, uh, I I'm not looking for like the tactical shit all the time. Like I try not to wear all the tactical stuff. Like when I was brand new on the job, I used to wear like riggers belt, like the 511 riggers belt, I thought was the coolest thing in the world. I did no rigging, but I wanted that belt. Uh, now I kind of just, you know, wear a belt that, that works for me based on comfort and concealability. So this belt you can see here, because it's a thinner belt, but it has that nice rigidity to it, the buckle there is very slim. And what that allows you to do is to print less on the front, which is what I'm looking for. So everyday carry belt for regular uh, regular jeans, or you can even wear this with dress pants. It's a nice leather. Uh, this is my go-to. Moving on to a belt that I wear every day. Now I've wore this belt for, uh, 
for a year now. I bought it about a year ago now, and that's a Segura Gear Company. <clears throat> so it's C I G, <clears throat> excuse me, U E R A, Segura Gear Company. Uh, I have again, I have like a 33, 34 waist, and I wear a size medium. So hopefully that helps you out there. This is their, I believe it's called Embassy uh, Everyday Carry Belt. This is not the light, this is the standard one. Uh, and one thing I forgot to mention about the core belt is it's a 1.5. 1.5 1 inch belt and that's what I opted for this one too and the reason I did this is in my current capacity at work I, uh, I'm plain clothes so I wear jeans and a t-shirt every day uh, and sometimes the belt loops on jeans and other other clothing is not like 1.75 so sometimes it's 1.75 inches hard to get through your belt loops you can't go wrong with a 1.5 uh, it, it slip, zips right through there on every pair of pants I have so uh, so this belt right here Again, you can see how rigid it is, right? So it's got a nice stiffener in it. Uh, the adjustments here are, I would say, probably just maybe, maybe just at half inch adjustments or maybe just a little over. It's pretty hard to tell, but I've never ran into an issue where I didn't have an adjustment for the holster I was wearing. Uh, and the main reason I like this belt is two reasons. So one is that the buckle itself, as you can see here, I'll show you in a second, is very slim. Right, so if you hold that up again, just like the core belt, that's very slim. So it's not adding any bulk to the front of it. And the overlap between the side there, also not a lot of overlap. Uh, if you wanted to and you thought that was too much overlap, you could always, again, like I was talking earlier, wear it offset one side to the other. But the main reason why I like this belt is for, for my daily duties with what I'm doing, I'm constantly going from like a low vis setting to potentially having to throw on the, the full like battle belt or the, the Ronin tactics belt or the lead devil belt over this, that's either my SWAT belt or the, uh, my, my warrant belt, I call the other one. And uh, because this is lined on the outer side here with loop, it allows any of those hook outer belts to quickly just adjust to it. So all I have to do to get ready for, if we're making a hit or anything, is pull my, conceal, my uh, appendix carry holster out, adjust the buckle one tighter, tighten it down, and then I just take my other belt and put it right over. Usually I'll tuck in my shirt too so it doesn't get in the way with the holster or magazines or anything like that. But it's very quick to do. Uh, at this point I do it daily and I've had no issues with it. The belt itself has held up really great uh, over a year now. Eventually over time what you'll find with any sort of Velcro, taking stuff on and off Velcro, is you'll, you'll find it'll start wearing down the loop will start getting real soft because you're essentially pulling all the little loops off to kind of straighten them out. And you'll notice hook over time will eventually straighten out and that work as well. But this is a year in now and I've had no issues with it. Uh, cosmetically, every once in a while, you'll get like a little fray here and I just take that and just kind of pull that off and throw that out. Uh, and maybe, you know, no different than like any sort of fabric. You might have to take a little lighter to it every once in a while and just kind of clean it up. But again, Solid Belt, uh, they're located, I believe in Florida. Uh, they've treated me really good when I've chatted with them. They've answered any questions I've had. So I highly recommend checking them out. This is the belt I wear, I would say 80% of the time. All right. And then lastly, uh, I'll just do the, the standard Ronin belt. Sorry for the Velcro on the mic. It's probably pretty loud. So these belts aren't bad. This is, uh, again, a 1.5 uh, width belt. Again, there's not, this one does not have a lot of rigidity to it. So you'll notice it kind of is a little flimsy. Uh, this belt I do utilize. Uh, I utilize this one quite a bit before I had the Segura gear because I could wear this on a pair of jeans. But I wear the the belt, the inner belt that came with my Lead Devil and the inner belt that came with my Ronin Tactics belt is a 1.75, but it's very similar to this. So it's just the nylon, it's got loop on the outside and then a Velcro closure that keeps it together. I don't like these as much as I like the Embassy belt because this one's more solid with an actual buckle. This belt is good if all you're doing for it is running it with uh, or in conjunction with your Ronin or your Lead Devil, like kind of your battle belt goes on, on the outside of it. So I do keep one of these, I keep the 1.75 inch one staged on my call out pants. So like right now, if we were to get a call out, I run out to my car, I've got a pair of pants that has everything in it. Um, if you go on one of my other videos on the One Take Wednesdays and you'll see kind of what I keep in all the pockets. But basically I've got a pair of cry pants that have everything I need for a call out. Uh, left side's got a balaclava, a little beanie. Right side's got a couple evidence bags. It's got a bunch of rubber gloves. Bottom left uh, pocket has Narcan. That's part of our SOPs for the team. Uh, front right 
uh, thigh pockets, got uh, additional shotgun breaching rounds. So like those pants are staged, ready to go. Uh, with that, I keep the larger belt on there. Because just like, uh, think about turnout gear for firefighters. Like I wanna be able to just grab, like take off whatever I'm currently wearing, throw those on, and then all I need to replace is my wallet, my phone, and my keys, and then I'm good to go. So as long as I grab those out of pockets, throw those pants on, I'll keep one of these belts on there so I'm not having to sit there and take my belt off. All right, so hopefully you guys, uh, you guys learned something from this video. Again, I want to keep it a little, little quicker this week, but uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, if you have any suggestions for belts that maybe I should try out, uh, hit me up in the comments. Just be aware that uh, this belt is like $90 and this belt's 75. So you're not really breaking the bank. These belts will last you a long time, especially if you take care of them. Uh, and really, I'll say this, the comfort for having a good belt is super important. If, you, if you're wearing just a standard leather belt or just a, you know, a standard flimsy belt, you're doing yourself an injustice. Invest in a good belt and it'll pay dividends on your back and on your comfort. All right, so until next time, stay safe. I'll see you next week.